9 millimeter plus P versus 38 special plus P in short barrels. And today what I have is the Winchester Ranger ammunition. I believe this uses the same bullet as the Winchester PDX-1. Pretty decent bullet design. It kind of reminds me of a gold dot. It looks sort of like a plated bullet. But the 38 Special Plus P is a 130 grain bullet, and it is rated at 950 feet per second. Typically, that's out of a 4-inch barrel, but we're going to run it through the 2-inch barrel see what we get. The 9 millimeters is a 147 grain Plus P. It is rated at 1,030 feet per second, but we're going to fire it through this 3.25 inch Taurus G2C. We got about the same amount of bullet nose to muzzle travel between these two firearms. That's why I use those particular firearms. So we're going to run through the chronograph, see what kind of velocity and accuracy we get at the same time. And as always, we're going to go through the juggernaut box, which contains a one and three quarter inch pack of blowing. That kind of simulates like a pectoral muscle covered by four layers of that I'm followed by one quarter inch medium density fiberboard that simulates like ribs or sternum and into water jugs to catch these bullets. And how this typically compares to ballistics gel is this, this uh, two inch bologna pack represents about six inches and each water jug represents about three inches. So if we got out the back of jug two, that's about equivalent to 12 inches of ballistics gel. Back of jug three, about 15 inches. Back of jug four, about 18 inches. So let's get started with the test between the 38 Special Plus P and nine millimeter Plus P Winchester Ranger in short barrels. Let's see what we get. All right, first up we have the nine millimeter. Uh, we'll see how close we get to that um, 10, 30 feet per second. Didn't feel real well. So we'll keep going with this. Okay, rated at 10, 30. We'll see what we get through the short barrel. Nine ninety two, not too bad. 1003 1025 984 1007 so really good rated velocity out of this short barrel 1030 we're dropping down barely so that looks really good looks like a really accurate round let's see how the 38 special compares 38 special let's see what we get for velocity and accuracy Eight sixty eight, eight forty nine, eight forty four, nine oh three, eight thirty three. So, yeah, a pretty big spread in velocity as to be expected with revolver rounds sometimes. But let's hit the ballistic box and see how these two compare to, to each other. All right, nine millimeter. We'll see how this does. All right, good damage to that first jug. All right, what we got through the baloney pack here, definitely larger than diameter exit hole. So that is going to indicate that we are expanding within this baloney pack. And what I got is pretty decent damage. So let's see what we got in water jugs. All right, first jug, we have a lot of pieces of fiberboard in here. Really big impact hole, suggesting expansion as it hit the first water jug. We have a split off the side that's pretty typical for nine millimeter, nine millimeter plus P. Second jug. We again, we have a pretty large hole, entrance hole and an exit hole. A little bit of a mark on jug three. I can see that right here. And it looks like we caught this bullet in jug three. What we got is some pretty wicked looking expansion. It's not completely uniform, but it looks pretty nasty from here. Um, I would not want to get hit with that. Let's see how the 38 Special compares. All right, 38 Special, see how this compares to the nine millimeter. 1 thing I do notice there's a lot more flash. I noticed that with the 38 Special PDX-1 version too, so I think that's probably the same round. So what we got through the baloney pack and through the fiberboard is pretty similar to the 9mm. A lot larger than diameter exit hole through the fiberboard. Pretty decent size hole through 
the baloney pack this looks pretty average for a lot of the 38 special plus p rounds i test so let's see what we got in water jugs all right first jug has a lot of fiberboard in it more than the nine millimeter the impact hole from the bullet looks about the same as the nine millimeter we also split out the side not quite as big of a split as that nine millimeter impact and jug two we have pieces of fiberboard floating around in jug two and we're drifting a little bit to the right impact on three there's an impact on four as well and the bullet is on three so jug four is leaking a little bit that's going to indicate actually a little bit more penetration versus the nine millimeter probably more like 16 inches person the ballistics shell let's see what we got and what we got with the 38 special is not as large overall but a really uniform expansion that's not a bad round at all so comparing the 38 special versus the nine millimeter and the winchester ranger i'm going to say these are both really great rounds a nine millimeter had very little recoil really accurate i didn't notice any muzzle flash so that's one of those rounds i would actually carry in that g2c so that usually says a lot about the ammunition the 38 special um a really good choice uh, i'm not saying it's it's one of the best rounds i've ever tested but it looks pretty promising so looks like it's doing a really good job so that's what you get today between the 38 special plus p and nine millimeter plus p in winchester ranger i think it's pretty good ammunition so as always comment share and like and thanks for watching Thank you.